uh, during the Eucharistic prayer, you can keep standing. Okay, you don't need to kneel. And those of you who are not able to uh, stand, you can be seat, uh, seated on your chairs, uh, on your chair during the Eucharistic prayer. And communion time also, you can keep standing. And when you, after receiving communion, you can sit. So that the ministers know, if you are still standing, they know that you have not received a communion and they will come to you. So once you receive Jesus, please sit in your chair and continue to pray or sing along, praising the Lord uh, together with the choir. So that will uh, be request to you once again. The missile that you have, please do not put back, you take back home. So every time you come for Mass, bring it back. Uh, so that what you touch, others are not touching. The leaflets or anything we are not going to provide uh, right now and the bulletins are not available because the bulletin company workers are not going back so they are since of the, because of the stay at home order so we have the bulletins available uh, online please make sure that you are visiting and it, of course we have introduced also online giving from our website you can give contributions the offer tree baskets, uh, Dana, if you would, you, would you mind to sit at least 10 feet away from there rather than closer to the basket? Yeah, just 10 feet away, uh, away from the basket, yeah. So we do have offer tree baskets there and you can just go and place your offer tree. It is not going to be, we are not going to have the offer tree collection or anything during the mass time. So when you come before, so just make sure you are making your distance and just go over there and offer your uh, offer tree before mass or at the end of the mass. Okay. And this, having said that about the uh, saying about the offer tree, of course, during this last two months, we our financial contribution has gone way down. And if you have forgotten to mail or something, and I know some people have the habit of piling, uh, talking, everything, kiting together and mailing it together. So I request you to do it. We have way down with our offer tree collections because the last two months we did not have the service or if you are generous enough you are welcome to contribute more to us our uh, budget as well okay thank you having said that one and we are about to begin this one so happy to see you all so happy to be seeing you all here for the mass service we have been longing for this one is watching mass on tv or computer is not the same it's not the same. We all know that one. We are we were all longing to receive Jesus, and here we can thank God uh, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, of whose peace day we celebrate. Uh, thank the Holy Spirit, Lord, for allowing us this to happen today. Okay, thank you. And we will begin our celebration this morning with "Come, Holy Ghost," found on your song sheet. Spirit. The Lord be with you. 
we thank the Holy Spirit Lord for allowing us to be here today and celebrate the, the feast of the Holy Spirit and to celebrate this feast day in a worthy manner let us be sorry for our sins and failures and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our lasting life. today's great feast. Sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work. When the gospel was first proclaimed, will now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, the disciples were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of 
fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in their own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, are not those people speaking all Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in our native language? We are Parthenians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, Though it has many parts, 
and all the parts of the body, though many are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for the fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the Aramis and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he preached on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit who since you forgive are forgiven them, and who since you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It truly brings me tears of joy on seeing everyone of you here. You know, I have been in the hospital for so long and I did not have a chance to see you. And when I came back, then you were all gone because of the coronavirus. I couldn't see you for a couple of months, you know. And to celebrate Mass, I really thank uh, my friends here, Craig and uh, Steve and Carl and Vic and Irma and Vic and Masses, they have been helping with the live streaming Mass and uh, singing for us and thanks for all the help that you have done throughout this uh, pandemic and helping us to continue to keep our faith alive uh, here in our church community and everywhere as well. And I truly see the presence of God in our midst. Jesus says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in their midst. And much more so, we can see here so many of us. And throughout this pandemic, we can see the presence of God there. And as with the eyes of, with the eyes of faith, we can see God's presence everywhere, even during this difficult time. I remember the story of two soldiers during the World War uh, II, they were severely injured and they were taken to the hospital nearby in a rural uh, village in France. The hospital facility was very primitive and a very small room and two soldiers were 
admitted in that small uh, place in the small room and they could not move around or anything they have to be held all all the time and this room had only one window only one window so the one soldier who was there near the window uh, uh, he has he had his bed he would daily he was he would raise his head and look through the window and if his friend the fellow soldier near near the bed he would ask what do you see out there and he would describe oh i see through the window there is a beautiful lake there i see the ducks and with the small ones just walking around my mother that while leading the small ones to walk the swimming in the water so beautiful to see outside the nature then another day he would say oh what do you see out uh, there well i see the parents and children all playing around biking and moving around the lake and on the and there is a beautiful park and meadow and another day he would say i see some young people just holding hands together again beautiful to see their people full of life and energy on a sunday oh he asked what do you see there today well there are a lot of people in the park but there i also see far end of the lake and i see a beautiful cathedral and a bell tower and a cross so went on every day this guy would uh, describe look at the window because he was able to raise his head and look through the window and describe what is going on outside it had it so happened that this guy who was uh, narrating look things life outside the window he was uh, in a severe pain he was, and uh, he had a problem and uh, he was taken for the further surgery but he did not make it he died it was a sad day for a physical uh, companion in the sick room but then he made a request to, get, uh, to the hospital authorities can i move my bed to the window and his request request was granted so when he was there on that bed and he raised his head to look through the window and what he saw there was unbelievable it was simple plain wall nothing else there is no lake no no park no trees no cathedral it is a plain simple wall only then he he realized that his friend who was there he was telling giving him hope that there is life outside beyond this place there is life and happiness outside that motivated his uh, motivated his friend to survive okay we have to fight we have to fight there is a life this is not the place that we are going to be there is a life outside that encouraged him and made him uh, to live through the pain that he was going through aspiring to be out on at the and get killed and go there is a life outside seeing is more than receiving light and seeing colors seeing involves our hearts and minds seeing involves believing seeing involves believing so it's so perfect on the feast on the day of feast of pentecost the spirit of god is invisible the spirit of god is invisible but then it enables us to see his presence among us no matter what we go through the desire, the the soldiers went through agony and pain because of the war and the wound that they have been going through but his fellow soldier was able to see life beyond that gave him hope and courage and today we as we celebrate the feast of pentecost we should be able to see the presence of god who is invisible he is present in every one of us He is present when people are going through difficulty and agony at the hospital, and we we can feel His presence through the hands of the doctors and nurses who are all helping those people who are there battling and serving for their life. We can see the presence of God in their uh, agony and stress that people, family members are going through, not able to see their beloved ones dying in the hospital because of COVID. 
We can see so many people who are reaching out to the elderly and homebound. Well, I don't think you can go for uh, shopping. Let me come and do help you. Let me go do the shopping for you. We can see the presence of God there who is enabling those individuals to go and reach out to those people who are in need. We can see the presence of God in the smile of every child in our family. We are so happy to see the children play and we enjoy. But behind that lock and the little innocence, we also the mystery, we see the mystery of life that God has given, the gift of life that God has given, and we wonder what that is going to be. So today as we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost, let us learn to recognize the presence of God, the Spirit of God dwelling in each and every one of us. And the Spirit of the Lord is asking us to be a witness. It's asking us, like he told the disciples, the apostles, go everywhere. And they went, after receiving, they empowered by the power of the Holy Spirit, they went around beginning from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth, bearing witness to Jesus. The same Holy Spirit is present here. And he is empowering us to bear witness to the love of Jesus. And what way are we going to see the presence of God in our family in this time of trial and difficulty? Even right now there's going on also the problem of racism or hatred feeling and all those things. How can we help? We can see the presence of God and God wants you to be His agent, wants you and me to be His agent and to bear witness to Him. In what way? And certainly sharing the unconditional love of Jesus with every one of us. Let us ask the Holy Spirit Lord to bless every one of us, keep us safe and healthy. And at the same time, let us also reach out to those people who are in need and where they can recognize the presence of God in and through us. Let us stand and uh, profess our faith. I believe in one God, maker of heaven and the earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of God. Father, he will come to the just the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Having professed our faith in the Lord, now let us place all our prayers and petitions. The response, the response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That church leaders filled with the Holy Spirit may bring justice to the oppressed, food to the hungry, plenty to the poor and compassion to the suffering we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for elected officials that they may act in accordance with god's will and their commitment to justice and mercy especially for those on the margins of society 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all suffering from the coronavirus pandemic and for all medical personnel, first responders, and all who are on the front lines, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of us, that we, that we may use the spiritual gifts we have been given by the Holy Spirit for the benefit of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the parishioners of St. Mary of the Lake, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all gathered here, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may rejoice in eternal peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, For all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we thank you for listening to all our prayers and petitions. We thank you for inspiring us and helping us to see your presence in our midst. And help us also to see your presence not only today, in every day of our life. Especially in, two, in times when we go through difficulties, tragedies of our life, that you are there closer to us. And we ask you to help each and every one of us to experience the good health of mind and body. We ask this to your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our altar table is being prepared, please join in singing, Send Us Your Spirit, found on your song sheet.
for our good and good of all this holy church. Grant we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit, may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. The same Spirit as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with the apostle joy, every land, every people excels in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic force sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise. Are they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being? and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of Pentecost, on which the Holy Spirit appeared to the apostles in tongues of fire, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. And blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles, martyrs, Peter and Paul, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those ye have chosen. Be pleased, O God, 
we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the challenge to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection from the Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from these gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept. The gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, your holy sacrifice as spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angels, your altar on high, to the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with the every grace and the heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants who, those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant them some share, and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, and bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only you say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Thank you. 
prayer of the communion, if you can do not, if you don't remember, you can just pray with me in the silence, in the silence of your heart. Lord Jesus Christ, because of Holy Communion, we feel within us a new strength. We are no longer weak and faltering, but strong with the strength that is not ours but yours, not human but divine. We thank you for coming into our hearts. Lord, we humbly implore you to grant your special graces to our family. Gift us with the compassion to better understand each other. Wisdom and love plus to each other, and trust and patience to live peacefully together. Grant that through the intercession of your mother Mary and Saint Joseph, our family may become their holy family, accepting each other, working together in unity, selflessly dedicated to one another and to you. Bless all the members of our spiritual family in the church by following the example of the holy family in mutual love and respect. May we come to the joy of our home in heaven. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, save God, we pray the grace you have given, that the gifts of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its Force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just before the final blessing, just a few reminders once again. Please follow the same method that we have today. Uh, whenever you come for Mass, bring your chairs, have your mask, and they have also hand sanitizer before receiving communion. You can use it in case uh, ministers happen to touch, they are also safe that way. Again, as I said, the fact that we are here, that we are not affected by the coronavirus. Uh, but at the same time, we do not know. That's why as a sign of respect and reverence for others, it's life. So we try to put on, follow these protocols every time. And it, before this weekend, every weekend when you come for a mass, check the weather before. If it is going to be a rainy day uh, on Saturday, Sunday it is going to be a rainy day, choose to come on Saturday itself. So we can accommodate a lot of people here uh, for the mass. So check the weather report, how it is going to be in Michigan, here in New Buffalo, uh, that way. If, still we are not going to cancel the mass in case if it is going, to, is going to be raining, we will be having mass inside the school gym. But inside the school gym, again, the space is limited. We can at the most accommodate, we have marked all the there with the X mark, and you have to bring your own chairs again, and you can sit there, this avoids a lot of work and confusion of uh, disinfecting after the service, so when you bring your own chairs, that's why we recommend you to do it, a lot of rules, otherwise it involves a lot of workforce. So bring your own chairs and sit only where the mark is, the mark it is where it is marked, okay. Uh, but we can accommodate only 80 people in the gym and another 20 people or something in the cafeteria area only at the most 100 people. If more than 100 people, then you are out of luck. That's why choose before the weekend, check the uh, weather report before coming. So if it is a nice, going to be a nice day, Saturday and Sunday it is going to be raining, come, prefer, come for a Saturday mass. If both days are raining, we have no other choice than having it there, okay? Uh, but uh, try to follow this one once again. Uh, thank you for all the volunteers, Rita, Jennifer, they have been setting it, and Irma has been setting it with the team, and the wonderful choir members who have been helping throughout, and thanks to every one of your help and your presence. Let us continue to glorify the Lord and see His presence in everything that we do, and uh, continue to pray. There is a little bit of restlessness because of the incident that happened in Minnesota and throughout it is picking up. So let us continue to pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit to inspire us so that we learn to respect each other as a human being and glorify God and do that way. Once again, thank you for thank you for being here and a happy birthday to the, our church. Feast of Pentecost is the birthday of the church and so we say happy birthday to our church. Thank you. The Lord be with you. With your May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
as gold in the peace of Christ. Um, thanks be to God. And before our closing hymn, we want to wish Father John a happy birthday tomorrow. So, happy birthday, Father. You're such a blessing to us. Thank you. And our closing hymn is number, oh, no, it's on your song sheet. Send down the fire. has been sponsoring a beautiful vegetable garden for me, Asian garden. <laughs> uh, when you see there, you can say hello to Jackie last time, time when you go. <laughs> <laughs>